Welcome to GuruFocus.com. My name is Charlie T. I'm the founder and CEO of Guru Focus. With this chart, I want to show you how we can use Guru Focus DCF calculator. We know that the discount cash flow model is a way to get the intrinsic value of stocks and uh, uh, I want to show you how. But please keep in mind that the DCF model is very limited. It only works well for the companies with more predictable and consistent earnings. And you can relatively reliably predict the future. When that's the case, you can use a DCF calculator. And in most cases, it does not fit very well. And uh, please now look at my screen. Now we are at the googlefox.com homepage. And to go to the DCF calculator, you can always search with a stock. For instance, in this case, I'm searching, go to Microsoft. I just tap Microsoft there. And now I select any of the tabs that's there. And now we look at the tabs. We have summary, search year financial, stock report, Google trades, and analysis. The next one is DCF calculator. The DCF, I just click on there. And all the parameters are set for you by default there already. And uh, we're actually using the dis discount earnings model because historically we found that earnings is more consistent than the cash flow. And well, if you want to know, to understand how the DCF model works, we have all these links here. And if you click on that, it will show you the explanation how the DCF uh, was done. And uh, we also, over the time, we made some changes and also the reverse DCF. Click on that, you understand more about the reverse DCF and also the different uh, screens we have based on the DCF model. And by default, as I said, we use DCF or discount earnings model. If you really want to free cash flow, just click on the free cash flow. And once it's there, uh, by default, we use earnings per share as a starting point here to calculate the DCF. Here's a earning per share is $9.58 for Microsoft. We we'll assume that the growth, the company has two stages, the growth stage and terminal stage. The, both of them are 10 years. The growth stage, growth rate, we use a default earning per share growth rate for the company uh, over the past 10 years. And um, then the future terminal stage growth rate will always use 4%. Uh, the discount rate, that's an extremely important rate here. The discount rate, we always use 10 year treasury rate, current 10 year treasury rate plus 6% and round to the closest uh, integer rate here. So currently it's 9%. If you think the discount rate is too high, you can always reduce it. First, when you reduce it, you can see the value is changing. And uh, then we calculate the margin of safety to see if you have certain margin. When we reduce the uh, discount rate for the company becomes, becomes more valuable, and now the margin of safety becomes positive here. And of course, you can change the growth stage years. So if, you know, if, you, if you think a company has more, uh, can last longer, instead of 10 years, you can make it uh, 20 years and any years thing you can think of or the uh, terminal stage, you can make it longer also. And uh, when you make those kind of changes, it, first the value of the company changes. In the case of Microsoft, now the fair value becomes $641. And the stock price is on less than half of that. So you have up close to 60% margin of safety in this case. And if I increase the uh, discount rate, of course, value declines. And everything here you do can change the value. So it has lots of, quite some assumptions, uh, please keep in mind. And uh, once you have the parameters ready, you can you can save it, you can save the parameters and you can come next time uh, to use it for this company you know, and also for other companies. Then at the right side, we have the reverse DCF. The reserve, reverse DCF, it tells you uh, the current with the current stock price. And of course, it's related to the discount rate, you assume it's related to the growth stage and terminal stage, you, you assume relate all those parameters. And you can see that with the current setting, Microsoft just need to grow 7.54% a year to justify the stock price. And uh, 
historically last 10 years has been growing 11.6%. So it means that it can, it does, it satisfy, justify the price. But these are all based on the assumptions we have. We're, we're assuming uh, the growth stage is 10 years, uh, terminal stage, if we assume 10, both become 10 years, you can see that the expected earning per share growth rate is 15.10%, and the current uh, historical growth rate is too slow to justify the stock price. In the meantime, the margin of safety becomes negative. So it, the parameters can affect the valuation very much, and uh, you need to uh, do that, set the parameters from a um, uh, practical point of view to make sure that it does fit the company's business model. And at lower part of the chart, we show you uh, this chart uh, to show you the how consistent, how predictable the company's earnings and cash flow are. And you can see with Microsoft, it's actually quite quite consistent. And uh, then we list some competitor companies uh, to uh, based on similar parameters, what kind of margin of safety they have and uh, what kind of reverse discount rate they need to have so that you can understand more. In this case, if I just click on that and I come to this company and, and to shoot, yeah, load, it told me that there's a margin of safety is 39.67% with a default setting. So maybe the company valuation is relatively low. Um, that's just an example of how you are how you can use DCF calculator. And uh, as always, you can always contact us with a chat box here, uh, chat with us. You can create a support ticket here. You can always call us and you, know, you can also visit us uh, anytime. You know, let me know beforehand, of course. Uh, that's about DCF calculator. And it's relatively simple, but uh, keep in mind again, uh, that uh, it only works if the company is predictable. Again, if you have questions, do an online chat with us and create a support ticket. And also you can set up the one-on-one -on -one meeting with us anytime. We will be very happy to help you. Thank you very much.